Hi, this is DokiPen, and this is the third video on how to set up modules in Unreal Engine. In the last video, we um, created this collection module um, build file, which is what lets the build tool know that there's a module to compile. And for each of these um, uh, target files, it's going to uh, compile um, the module for a different target. So um, we'll quickly show you how we can uh, compile the code for the editor as well. So I'm just going to delete that editor one and I'm just going to copy what we had before. And we're going to rename this file and we're going to name it the same but append the name with the word editor. And then we're going to edit this and all we're going to do is we're going to change the name of this class to be the same as the name of the, of the um, yeah we're going to change the name we'll change the name of this class to reflect what we uh, changed with the file name so what we need to do is just put the word editor again after the um, the sort of project name then we have to put the word editor and then after that it's appended with target and that needs to be done for the um, constructor as well so it knows to call the right constructor and that should be all we need to do for this file so we can save it and hopefully we can close them now and not need to touch them uh, so let's go down into the um, next folder down into the um, module folder so we're going to look into the module and like we saw in, in the uh, previous video we created the uh, a build file and we created the actual C++ uh, implementation and header files so let's do the boring part again let's um, open up the build file and this is where we're going to fill in information that the Unreal build tool knows um, how to, so that the Unreal build tool knows how to compile this module whereas the previous build files were there were target files which um, told Unreal Build Tool what to build and this is going to tell it how to build it. So in this file, um, like the uh, target file, we need to tell the Unreal Build Tool that we're using the Unreal Build Tool just so we have access to certain uh, classes and functions and we don't need to add any more using directives, we can just go straight into creating our class. So this is actually going to be named uh, the name of your module and there's only going to be uh, one of these build files. So the name of this module was um, collection module and uh, that's um, that's we need. don't need to change the name for this one but we do need to inherit from an existing C Sharp class and we're going to inherit from uh, a module rules class. And yeah, this is basically telling Unreal Build Tool what it needs to know to compile it. So we'll start with the, um, the class body. And again, we're going to start with a constructor. So this will get called when the uh, class is created during build. So let's, this is the constructor. And it's going to get uh, passed a target info struct. Uh, we're not going to be using this struct, but um, it's what the function signature is. So we, you know, we we'll just put it in there to match. So we need uh, two functions here, and all we need to do is just tell the Unreal Build Tool what our code is depending on to be able to build. And there's a function that um, we have to call to be able to do that, and that function is called public dependency module names and this is a um, an object that we have access to and we're going to be calling an add range function so what we're doing is we're again like the, the target file we're adding strings into a list so um, this is obviously a list and we're adding strings into it so we're going to be creating a new string a new string list and 
we are going to initialize that string list with some values. So this is where we need to tell Unreal Builder what other modules we depend on. Uh, and to get a basic um, module compiling and up and running, we're going to be telling it we're going to be using the uh, core module, the core U object module. I'll just shrink this down a bit so we can see. The um, I messed up my syntax. Yeah, we're going to be calling the um, depending on the engine module, and the last one is the input core module, and that should be all we need uh, in this case. And then we do have a similar function that we shall. I'll just write here. There's nothing going to be added to this, um, but. Um, it's good for reference down the line. So it's, it's named almost exactly the same. Dependency module names. And this is um, a private um, dependency module names. So any C++ implementation files that you write that um, are private that need access to modules to compile, uh, this is where we declare them. Um, we haven't actually got any at this stage, but um, I'm just showing you the function so we can we have it in our file ready to go if we need to. And this is just um, initialize it with a blank string. So that should be um, all we need for this file. If you did create a module using the editor previously, there might be some uh, commented out code down here that you might notice in these files. And that's to do with um, adding extra modules and also if we're compiling for um, online features, which we're not doing here. So we're just showing you how to set up a basic module system. So we can just leave this blank. So we'll save that and exit out. Now, the next thing we need to do is fill out these um, module C++ files. This is actually where the um, C++ part of the module comes in. So let's start with the uh, header file for the module. Uh, let's just open this up in the editor. At the moment it's blank. Uh, now you're going to find this, this part quite difficult, I expect. And if you didn't detect my sarcasm, it was, um, it was intended because all we need to do here is um, write the include um, preprocessor and we're going to be telling the compiler that we are including engine.h and that's all we need to do, just hit control s, save and close it and we're good to go. Uh, so let's now tackle the uh, implementation file which is slightly harder but not too much harder. All we need to do is we're going to be including the header file that we just saved. So that is the collection module dot h. And I missed out a uh, quotation mark. And then all we need to do is there's one line of code, and it's actually a macro, um, a an Unreal Engine macro which when Unreal Build Tool comes across this macro, it's going to expand it out into um, some code that um, we don't actually need to know about, but this is the easy way of getting this to work. So um, we need to write in capitals, implement underscore primary underscore game module, and then uh, open parentheses, and then we're going to be passing in uh, a predefined data type, which is just designed for setting up a basic game module. So um, we could actually go in and define one of these data types ourselves, but the engine provides this for us so that we don't have to. It just uh, comes. It's just a basic set of um, properties 
that uh, is needed to get up and running. And this is the F default game module implement impl um, type, which is a class in itself. But um, yeah, this the, this is given to you just for ease of use. And the next argument in this in this macro function is the name of your module. So um, we shall call that collection module. And then one more argument, which is just a string of what you want your module to be called in the in the editor. So it's normally uh, named the same, but it doesn't have to be. This could be a blank string, a blank string if you want. It's just um, it will still compile. But it's just good to have it in there just for uh, you know make things nice and clean and tidy. And then we can hit Control and save. And technically, that is um, what you need to build a module. Uh, so if we were able to run the Unreal Build tool right now then it would go and detect uh, all this information and um, compile the code. So let's go and try and compile this. Um, if we uh, open the editor, we've already got it open here, um, but um, I can just tell you that if we opened it, then nothing would happen. The editor doesn't know that these exist, or if um, it should um, do anything to compile. So what we're going to do is right click on the U project file in the uh, in the project directory and there should be an option for generate Visual Studio project files. So we want to click that and what's going to happen is behind the scenes uh, we should, oh I've got an error file. So I'm going to pause the video and figure out what I did wrong, and I'll tell you what I did wrong. Okay, so I discovered what the problem was, and it's a simple syntax error. In my collection module target um, files, um, I've missed out a semicolon in the code. So all I need to do is open up that file, and up here I just need to add in the um, semicolon and also need to do that to the the editor version of that target file. So I can save that and hopefully now I can go and generate the Visual Studio project files. And here we have another error. So let me uh, pause the video and figure out what that was. Okay, so I think I found the other syntax error. Again, it's in the same files and I'd simply got a um, a function wrong in the um, string object, so I think I just need to change that to add range rather than add ranges. And if I just do the same to that file and save, and I will try this again. Let's hope it, it uh, works. I haven't forgotten anything. Uh, one more error. Let me see what that is. Ah, and it's just, um, again, I got the function wrong. It should be capital A and capital A there. Just to make sure that those are both saved. And we shall retry the generation. Got one more error. Let me try and find out what that was. Ah, and I had realized that I had created my original target files uh, incorrectly. I called them by the module name when they should have been called by the project name which is actually what I put in the target files anyway so um, let's just make sure that these are correct so we have module create editor dot target CS and we have module create dot target CS uh, so hopefully that should uh, that should work. Let's give that a go. And the error this time was that uh, I need to, in my copy and paste trigger happy mode, I hadn't made the constructor public. So let's see if that fixes the uh, the issue. The 
joys of manual code typing. Um, so that's some saved and generate Visual Studio project files. Another error. And this error is, yeah, another simple one. A step I've missed is that we had declared the um, previous target to be for game. And the editor target, we need to tell it that it is actually to be built for the editor. So that's uh, that step. Let's generate the Visual Studio project files. And yay, we fixed all the errors and we've generated a Visual Studio project. So um, we could actually go ahead and build this, I believe, by opening up the um, Visual Studio. And it set up all the dependencies for us. Uh, we have our, our code. So now hopefully we can come to the module create uh, build. And fingers crossed everything goes through correctly and we get a succeeded build. Okay, so there we go. I mean, it, it took 36 seconds, which is quite long, but um, everything went through and we built the module. So now if we look in our in our project folder, let's see if we can bring that up. then we should now see this binaries folder and um, we have built the um, the editor module called collection module and that is what's going to get loaded when we um, when we run the editor so that's it for this video um, there's one more step which I kinda need to show you which is um, when we load up the editor it's not going to know anything about this module so um, we need to tell the editor that it exists and we do that by editing this um, new project folder we need to add some extra information otherwise the module won't get loaded uh, and we also need a way to um, if we want to add in a second module and I can show you how to do that so join me for, for the next video and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.